When we talk about environmental justice, it's already challenging, uh, and it's been challenging for the past few years. It's been challenging to get certain communities on uh, up to speed on some of the new changes that are coming along. It's hard to get some people who have been in the environmental justice movement to recognize um, uh, marginalized communities. So that's already, already been a challenge. But now things have been accelerated because we got an orange man in the White House. And, um, and that orange man is not by himself, he's with a team that has come along and they're doing everything they can to erase whatever gains have been made, to put new policies in place that's gonna make it very difficult. So I wanna start off with each of you all. And as you talk a little bit about some of the stuff you're doing, I'm gonna start off. What do you see the biggest challenge now in this environmental justice movement? How does it affect your work or your organization's work with the current administration? I'll start off with you over here. Test, test one. Yeah. He got you. Yeah, talk a little louder. This one? Right. Can y'all hear me now? Yes. Is everybody feeling good? Yes. Is it a beautiful Saturday in Oakland, California? Yes. For real. Well, I'm blessed and honored to be here. I'm Brian Butler, a community organizer and policy advocate with Green Action for Health and Environmental Justice. I'll say that one more time. The organization is Green Action for Health and Environmental Justice. And that's a big question that my man asked me, you know, what is, what is the biggest challenge? Um, you know, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. And, and that's, it's hard to choose one thing to kind of frame it all, but we were already up against it before this gentleman took this, I don't even like to call him a gentleman, the, the Mr. Mr. Orange took the office. You understand what I'm saying? So it's only gotten things, it only put things worse in a worse position where we gotta work harder, we gotta come together I just love where we come together of all walks of life, all shades of color. It's so important that we, we, we unite. That's why I was all on board with this when it was talking about unifying. That's what we have to do. It's been so long that people have been divided, black and brown and white and orange and, you know, everybody. We got to come together. And, and when we have these types of events, when I see women and, and men and and black and white and brown and Asian and children coming together. I'm inspired. This is, you guys are what keeps us going. And we do it for you. But to answer your question, the biggest thing, we're talking about our civil rights. You, when you defund the, the Office of Environmental Justice, the, 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 the Office of Environmental Justice within the EPA, you're basically saying that the people that are impacted most by all the pollution, by all the racism, and I, if I can make one request, if we could talk about environmental justice, when we talk about, if we could just start saying environmental racism, I'm almost, I'm almost feeling like environmental justice ain't getting it no more. It's almost starting to water down. Look, we gotta, we gotta bring it right back to what this really is. We're talking about a legacy in this country of racism. We're talking about environmental racism. So, but to answer your question, um, we, we, gotta, we gotta lean in. And as I said, when we, when we talk about defunding the, the Office of Environmental Justice, we're basically talking about the lives and the quality of lives and the health of black and brown people and people of low income communities not matter anymore. So right. that's, that I would say. But let, me, let me just hit you with this, Brian. Okay. Uh, very specifically, okay. Uh, you know, here you are working, doing work in West Oakland, and you and you had battles with corporations, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Now those corporations are now emboldened. Yes. They now have a friend that's saying you can pollute as much as you want. Right. You can do as much. So for people out here, and I want okay. us to kind of be solution oriented. And I know you said we need to lean in. Right. What would you ask for people to really help in some of the immediate things that you see now? Um, that is coming down the pipe as a result of some of this defunding. So, for example, in some parts of the country, the defunding has resulted in contaminated water. So that's an immediate need that we now need to start to look at. So here in West Oakland, here in California, where we do have some environmental protections, we may be under the illusion that everything's going to be all fine and dandy, but when it starts to get to some of these federal regulations, we may be getting hit without even realizing. Right. So and, how do you see that? And, and I, just to your point, I don't think these folks necessarily are disconnected 
put to that point. I'm not saying that you are. In California, it was a mega drought. And everybody know what's been going on in this part of the world in terms of our, our, our weather and the, the types of things that we have to do to conserve. This is impacting our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think people will understand that. What I would encourage this group of people here today listening to my voice right now, and I'm blessed and honored to be speaking to you all, to become more engaged. We can't just talk about it, y'all. We can't just talk about it. We got to vote with our at the ballot. We got to vote with our money. We got to vote with our time. We got to vote with our energy. We can't just, it can't just be a hobby. It just, we can't, we can't fuel the machine on, on Monday through Friday, nine to five, and on outside hours on the weekends, we try to do something to go against it. We gotta devote ourselves on the day to day, on our nine to five, find a way, get engaged. We got a good, a good group of organizations. We got the, the hip hop, 10, uh, I forget what it's called, when they talk about health being a part of one of the major principles of hip hop. We got Greenpeace, we got Green Action, we got this wonderful organization led by Coffrey bringing this to our community here. Get engaged, not just with your words, but with your time, your energy, and your money. We appreciate that. Thank you, Brian. Annie, let me bring this over to